Hi, Jim. It's Meg, and I am doing your new moon energy check for April. We are calling in our angels and guides of the highest vibrations of love and light because I don't want to talk to anyone else. And this is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, prominent placements. And here we go. We're going to do an old wise tree spread and just take a look at what is going on with you for this new moon. What kind of energy is around you? What kind of energy are you dealing with in this moon phase? All right. So the first thing that I'm noticing here, we're going to get some advice and we're going to get some energy that you don't see coming to. So let's just check this out. The first thing that I'm noticing is the heart of the situation. You've got the chariot and the ace of cups. The chariot is reversed. So it looks like there has been some kind of halt in your overflowing of abundance in love. There's been some sort of just, I want to say halt, but there's a pause here. When I see the chariot reverse, usually that means there's something in the way. There's something in the path that is in the way before you are able to really beeline to what it is that you want. So let's figure out what that is. I want to just pull a couple and see what is going on with this. Sometimes it means that there needs to be some planning. There needs to be, something needs to happen here in order for you to go forward into the future. Okay, so it definitely feels like there's been some kind of ending in love. Here's the world card. The world card is like, okay, I've graduated. I've also brought something full circle. So whether this was a happy ending or a not so happy ending, the world card is saying, I learned a lot from this. I have a lot of wisdom from this. I graduated from this. I'm walking through a threshold. I'm going into a different part of my life. I'm going into a different part of my journey and I'm going into a different dimension, even a different kind of like I'm stepping onto a different timeline than where I was previously. The big picture is talking about the nine of cups reversed. And this is like, I wished for something and what I wished for, it didn't arrive exactly the way I wanted it to. It didn't come out exactly the way I wanted it to. Here's the seven of pentacles reversed. When I clarify that, and this is about, yeah, I need to switch channels. I need to switch up what I'm manifesting or how I'm manifesting because it didn't turn out exactly the way I wanted it to. So happening now and into the near future, we've got the King of Swords. And this is a Gemini card for me. So the King of Swords is talking about getting really clear with communication, clear with actions around communication, clear with what it is that you want to do, and then kind of like walking your talk, speaking your truth, being clear, being honest with yourself about what it is that you want and being action oriented about that. This is coming from a place of the Knight of Pentacles. This is coming from a place of starting to move slowly and methodically, starting to move slowly and methodically kind of up the mountain, like, all right, I have my eye on the prize. I want to focus on something in particular instead of focusing on everything around me. And this is also about, I need to focus on closing this chapter, closing this door and moving into that new timeline. Your advice is talking about looking at the big picture. Instead of focusing on some of the information that you know and jumping to conclusions, this is about looking at everything that is available to you, looking at all of the information and making a choice based on that. It's also talking about looking at what creates havoc in your life, what creates, I want to say dysfunction, but really this is conflict. What creates conflict in your life? Figuring out why this is creating conflict and looking at the big picture of it. What is this trying to tell me? What can I do about this? And I'm just going to ask that. There's definitely a lot of balance that's being called in or called for. So your advice is talking about looking at that. What needs to be balanced? What needs to be 
come to with some moderation. What do you need to moderate in your life? Let's just ask, what is that thing that you need to moderate in your life? There is something about moderating your feelings about endings and beginnings. It feels like there's a lot of healing that needs to be done. And the thing that needs to be moderated when you're talking about healing traumas like this, it's like regulating your nervous system. That's a biggie. Your higher self is talking about saying no to certain things when it comes to this moderation, things that we need to say no to. And your angels and guides are talking about things that you need to say yes to, the things that you do need to pursue. There are certain things that you might love or like or enjoy that just simply aren't good for you that you need to say no to. The inner child might want chocolate cake, but the adult self knows that it would be better to breathe through something or eat something healthier, right? Here's the Knight of Cups that angels and guides are saying. These are the things that you need to pursue. It's also, there's something about being a, a model, being a model to your younger self, to your inner child. I just want to pull another one for both of these, what we say yes to, what we say no to, what we've said yes to and no to in the past versus what we're saying yes to and no to now in present time. Things have changed. This is kind of, I'm feeling a complete transition here. And you do have the death card up here in the present time position. You've got the six of cups reversed and the death. So this is telling me that in present time, you really are releasing a certain aspect of self. It also looks like you're releasing some kind of, it can be a childhood type idea of life. It could be a fantasy of some kind, but the six of cups is about, it's about past lives. It's about childhood nostalgia. It's about childhood thinking. It's about kindred spiritship. And there's something that has come to an end here. So this is like very possibly learning from a soulmate, having a soulmate type lesson in the past. You're like, I've been the king of wands. I've been very charismatic and action oriented and bringing people together and feeling good about all of this. And then here we have, okay, I've been bringing myself to this place where I'm releasing some kind of past life agreement, past life lesson. And here you are, it's kind of happening into the future. You're living in two different worlds. It's like you're juggling. I thought I knew where I was. I was exactly where I needed to be in those moments, but that has come full circle. And I'm walking through this new threshold and I'm trying to basically get a handle of integrating this, my identity, my new identity. So let's get a clarifier here, Gemini, on the King of Swords, happening now and into the near future, getting very clear with that. And this is about cutting things out that, and what I'm hearing is like cutting things out of your energy that you didn't like about yourself or definitely things about yourself in the past that are no longer you now. This feels more like your decision. It's not like someone told you this. It's like, no, this is really how I've evolved and I've changed and I've moved through something. And now I really am not the same as I was before. And you are making a decision around this. There's a lot of thought provoking things that are coming up around your identity, around your struggle and around who you are now because of that struggle, uh, the struggle of life, the two of pentacles juggling. And here's the two of cups reversed. And you're kind of like, I am, I'm really, I feel like someone is struggling because of the end of a a relationship. I'm also hearing the struggle of a particular kind of consciousness, a struggle of a certain type of awareness. This is going back and forth. Wow. Gemini, this is huge. You've got the lover's card reversed, the two of cups reversed, and the two of pentacles. This is going back and forth and kind of like living in the past, living in the present, living in the past, living in the present. You're really integrating. This is again, making a choice. It's like I can falter, I can I can kind of spiral with this, 
or I can really step forward into that world card through that threshold and be this excelled, evolved self. And it is definitely a choice that needs to be made. I want to ask what, what needs to happen here? What is the choice about what needs to happen so that you can move through? I even want to say move through that threshold generously. And this is about being humble. There's something about feeling removed from the pedestal and being comfortable in that place. This is only a phase. This is only a moment where like, it's like feeling safe, but also being comfortable with being behind the scenes. This is also about being comfortable, not being on stage, not being the center. And the six of wands reversed is also talking about still being in the battlefield. So this is like a, this is the, the battlefield of integration, integrating this, this new change, this new you. And here you are starting your journey again, but with greater wisdom. You've been through this before. This is not your first rodeo. Here we go. And now it's a different aspect or a different part of the journey. What you are releasing is really a lot of angst, a lot of anxiety. And it's interesting because you've got a lot of, a lot of thought, a lot of stuff going on in the mind happening now and into the near future. And what you are releasing is the anxiety around it, the upset, the angst around it. And this is having resistance to not moving on. So the momentum here is really packing it up and moving it out. It's like really moving forward, leaving what you need to leave behind and moving forward on your journey into the future. I want to take a look at energy you don't see coming around this new moon. Energy you don't see coming, Gemini, around this full moon. Sorry, this new moon. Oh, I said full moon, so I feel like that's going to be a cycle. So from the new moon to the next full moon, there's a lot of integration going on. Stuff you don't see coming. Here's the journey. You're going to be propelled into this next journey and it's going to be surprising. You have sudden wealth. This can be sudden understanding. This is even 777. For me, this is really divine healing. It's really divine consciousness. It's really like being connected with the universe and this journey of connection with the universe in a different way. There's also a succession here. We've got 10 and 11 and change. So he, you might see this coming and you might have an epiphany too about how much change this actually is. Taking a breather and letting yourself integrate is a huge message here. I'm going to pull one more. Here's community. I feel like I need to pull another one too. So community, these are the people around you, the family around you. They are, I want to say they're depending on you, but they're also rooting for you. They're, it's like they're holding space for you. And here's expectation. I feel like this has to do with the expectation you have of yourself. I feel like other people are a lot more forgiving of you than you can be of yourself. Let's take a look at some advice, Jim. What is it that you need to know? I'm going to call messages of love oracle too. What is it that you need to know advice wise while you're going forward into this new moon? And here's the sun reversed. So going forward into this new moon, you need to realize that you're going to have to take some steps onto your journey. Things are half illuminated. You don't see it all yet. And that, that knight of swords down here reversed is talking about just wait for it. See the big picture. Don't make any big, huge decisions. Let things integrate before you make any big decisions because you're needing to see the big picture. Recognize that things are half illuminated. And here's the 10 of wands reversed. This is also talking about releasing, releasing a lot of burdens. I again hear expectations that you put on yourself, but releasing a lot of burdens, agreements that you have made, responsibilities that you have taken on that are complete, they're full circle. And I'm asking messages of love, oracles, or anything else you need to know about what you have just been through, what are you, you know, what you, what you are coming out of right now, this cycle, 
boundaries, firm boundaries are needed now. Making boundaries so that you can release these things, release these responsibilities and agreements that are full circle, put away the computer. I would say this has to do with really taking some time to be quiet and be unplugged. Trust, it is safe to trust in this situation. I have this feeling that some of you are feeling like, I don't want to say lost. Someone's saying the word stray. I feel like a stray. This is talking about trusting the situation, trusting yourself, trusting your wisdom. When you start this journey, this new timeline that you're stepping into, you're not a stray. You have, you have a community around you that is supporting you, whether you are feeling that connection or not is something else. I feel like there is a lot here that you are moving through. Here's the three of pentacles. And the reason why you might feel outside of that community in this moment is because there's a lot of advice here around self-validation. You're being put into a moment where you're being asked to look at how important it is for you to self-validate, for you to recognize yeah, and have ownership is what I'm hearing. For you to recognize your importance, your alignment, and take ownership of your life. And it doesn't mean take responsibility of everything that you've done up until now. I mean, yes, I, I don't feel like this is a, I don't know, for some reason, like a guilting and shaming sort of thing. It's more like a celebration, but it's a celebration of evolution. So it's not like, yay, this big, exciting celebration. It's more like, a reverence, like having reverence for yourself and how you got here, how you have managed your time and your space and how you want to do that moving forward. That is what I have for you, Gemini. It seems like this new moon is kind of a big one for you. So it is an Aries new moon also. So it's going to be fiery, using some fiery thoughts for you. That's what I have. I'm looking forward to your next reading, Gemini. See you soon.